Okay, last exercise for lesson 12. Nice work. We're going back to our career website and we're going to separate the content out a little bit. So if you forgot, the first step in working on this project is to go back and copy our code. So I'm just going to have my project open in a new tab. We are not going to add any content in this exercise. All we're doing is working with the padding and margin property. And specifically, we're doing that in the content and footer classes. So our content class, which is all of the content in the center of our page, should have a margin of 15 pixels and a padding of 10 and our footer should have a little bit larger of a margin at 50 and a padding of 10. Okay so pretty simple we just need to copy the code over and then add the new rule so let's get started. We are going to start by copying over the code from the index page so I'm going to start with that page first and I'm going to go in order so I make sure I get everything. Okay so control C to copy and then you can paste that right there. Okay, the next page is milestones. I'm going to grab the code from my milestones web page. Control C, Control V. Job info is next. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of that, paste it over my comment, and then last but not least, your style rules. Okay, I believe last time I did this, I left out some rules and it didn't look right, so make sure you're grabbing everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code. I'm gonna open it up in a new window just to make sure things are looking okay. Okay, this should look familiar. Well, this is my project, yours is going to be different. So job information, just make sure you are getting what you should be, and then milestones. Okay, so this looks good, everything is is great all right so notice our footer is glued to our content so we're going to fix that now and oh yours might look a little different because you should have more than one image i believe last time i did this i only demonstrated with one image so i got a little work to do to catch up but anyway we're focusing on margin and padding in this exercise so let's go ahead and fix this okay so over in the style sheet we are going to okay i'm gonna just reorganize my style sheet quickly i notice here i have some regular tag selectors. Generally, um, what I like to do is organize my style sheet by selector type. So I got all my tag selectors and my class selectors uh, separated out. Okay, uh, again, that's not the focus of this exercise. I'm just doing this now because we're going to continue working on this and I wanna keep things nice and neat. So over in the style sheet, we're gonna go ahead and add in a rule for content. Okay, so the content class that's all the stuff in the center of my web page so all of this stuff um, we're going to give it a margin of 15 pixels and padding of 10 pixels okay so let's go ahead and save let's refresh and see what that looks like Okay, so notice that content creation falls into the media and production industries. That heading now isn't so close to the edge of my div container. So even though there is no border around my container, okay, it's still creating that padding between the edge of my element, which is this div, and the element sitting inside of it. Also, my footer is now not stuck directly to my content. So I now have some space between them. It looks a lot better, and it's easier to see that footer now since it's not glued to the content div. Okay, next we're going to add a rule in for the footer class. And same deal, we're going to adjust the margin and padding properties. We're just giving them different values. So margin is 50 and padding is 10 pixels. Okay, so once more, let's save. Let's refresh. Notice what it looks like now. All the text is kind of just up against the edge of the container. If I refresh this, okay, notice now I have space between the text and the edge of the container and also a lot more room now around the um, the div itself. Okay, so this looks wonderful. Let's uh, save our work and that wraps up lesson 12 on CSS box model. Nice job, everyone.